Good morning, this is Sean Nettleton, Bex Hybrid, Southern Illinois field agronomist, again uh, standing in a wheat field today in Southeast Illinois. Uh, starting to get some calls and uh, it's, it's, it's fungicide time. We're getting very near a, a fungicide for a head scab application on wheat. So, um, scouting some fields this morning, I wanted to send a quick update video on timing uh, for for a fungicide application for uh, you know potential protection against uh, foliar diseases and uh, head scab or fusarium head blight. Honestly, everything I've walked here the last few weeks uh, for the amount of rain we've had, you know, realistically these these wheat fields are clean. There's not a lot of disease. There's not a lot of insect in there. Uh, but with the rain forecast again this week, with many fields nearing heading, uh, you know, we're in a moderate. Uh, to uh, uh, maybe a touch higher uh, risk of likelihood that uh, fusarium head scab or fusarium head blight could be an issue uh, here in 2019. And so just wanted to take a real quick minute to do a video and show you kind of where, uh, how to stage a wheat field for a fungicide application. And so the particular field I'm in uh, right now, you know, one thing I have noticed this season is that a lot of the wheat fields or a little bit uneven as far as head emergence. And so when you're trying to hit that 10.5.1 uh, timing, you know, so 50% so flowering uh, for a fungicide like a caramba or a prosaro, it gets to be a little bit tricky this year because these wheat fields aren't heading uh, nice and even uh, like we would like. I think some of that stems from the fact that, you know, we had a, a little bit of a tough winter. We had a really cold fall. A lot of this wheat came up somewhat uneven, didn't get a lot of early growth, and so therefore these wheat fields are, are a bit uneven. Uh, if you're looking at a product, so there's three products that you can use uh, for, for head scab control. You've got Prosaro from Bayer, uh, you've got Caramba from BASF, and then a new one on the market is Moravis Ace from Syngenta. And so Moravis Ace, uh, one of the neat things about it is, is that it's, it's label for fusarium head scab protection is, is quite a bit wider than that of, of the Prosaro or the or the Caramba. And so you can apply Moravis Ace from about 10.3, which would be 50% head emergence. So something like this right here, where I've got it in my hand, uh, you see these heads are emerging from the boot. Uh, this one uh, here in my, in my right hand is a little bit further along than 50%. This one here, probably right at 50% emergence. And so if you can make an application, you know, say today, tomorrow, uh, you've got a window with this Moravis Ace product, um, you know, so 10.3 to 10.5. And so uh, at the beginning flowering, so you're going to run this from 50% head emergence up to uh, beginning flowering for Moravis Ace. And, and it's got some uh, uh, xylem mobile properties that, that, that allows that uh, fungicide to translocate and give us some head scap protection and give us a wider window of application. What we're typically used to uh, with the products like Brasaro or Caramba, uh, we need to hit those kind of ideally uh, at that 10.5.1. Uh, a lot of folks would believe that uh, they would rather be a little bit late, or excuse me, a little bit early than late, but there is some data out there that suggests that those applications uh, that, that can be made, uh, you know, up to a few days later on those products can still provide really good control of fusarium uh, head scab. Matter of fact, I'm gonna step right over here just right next to me, I uh, just found this head. We've got one here. And so I talked to you about the majority of this field, you know, being 50%, this head's fully emerged. Here's one here that has undergone stem elongation and it's beginning to flower. It's actually probably about 50% flowering. And as I look around, this is about the only one. So it speaks again to the unevenness of this, of this wheat. Um, my recommendation is, and I know it's Monday and we've got rain in the forecast, at least in this part of Southern Illinois, uh, late tomorrow night, uh, I get 100% chance today for Wednesday. Um, and so we want to try to time these applications as best we can. You know, uh, a lot of times we have a discussion a lot of years about uh, ground rig versus aerial application. My opinion is always run the ground rig when possible. Uh, I think it just, you know, I think with the coverage and things, especially when you're trying to cover this head, uh, can be a little bit better. But I understand this year with the, with the amount of moisture that we've had, that may not always be the case. It may not give us the opportunity, uh, the, the field conditions may not give us the opportunity to run that ground rig. So, so you know, make your decision uh, based upon the based upon the benefit. And, and I believe that with the rain in the forecast, warmer temperatures again this week, 
that, uh, that the fungicide in this case uh, really has an opportunity to pay. Uh, we try to time this, we've got one here. Um, what we would expect when we're, when we're trying to target that 10.5.1 is we've got this one that's fully emerged. In a day or so, this stem's gonna elongate out of the boot a little farther, and then flowering will begin. So, so we've got a window on a lot of these fields, you know, with this, like uh, when you have the variability like we have here, uh, that window is going to be, you know, say today uh, through probably the middle to end of this week uh, to make that application. And so we've got a lot of guys that uh, that have talked, you know, they were going to start after lunch today, maybe on some of the fields. Uh, I've got a, one grower I spoke to this morning that's going to do a trial of the Moravis Ace where you can spray it earlier and then wait a day or two and spray uh, Prosaro at a, at a more at the, at the labeled timing and try to do a comparison on those products. Um, you know, my thought process is with rain tomorrow night, 100% chance of rain Wednesday, if we can wait into, for these fields that are right on the cusp of being ready, uh, if we can wait a little longer, maybe wait to that Tuesday, say after lunch, uh, knock out some acres before that rain comes in Thursday evening. So uh, if, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, or, or your Bex uh, seed advisor dealer, they can put you in touch with me. Uh, if you get this video sent to you and you're, and you're not getting it sent directly, uh, you can opt into our videos. Uh, you just need to do, break out your phone and do a text and text 733-337 to, uh, you put my name, so Nettleton, N-E-T-T-L-E-T-O-N to 733-337. Uh, it'll give you an opt-in and you'll start receiving these videos and, and agronomy updates directly to your phone. Thanks. Have a great day.